Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to While Away With Us. We traveled throughout Europe, and in several countries you noticed they had bidets. We used the bidets and really found them uh, liberating. Truth is, we like them. Here in the United States, we just don't see them. So the apartment we're renting, likewise, doesn't have one. And we decided to go ahead and try a mail order home bidet. This installs on your commode, and that's what this video is going to be about. The installation process and how it works afterwards. So without further ado, let's go ahead, look at the parts and get the bidet assembled. I have put all the pieces on the floor so I can make sure everything's here. The instruction booklet uh, looks pretty concise. And what comes with this kit is a flexible steel hose to attach to the commode, some brackets, that will help seat this dual purpose bidet. Here you have some uh, washers that will elevate the toilet seat uh, so you can slip this in. And then your hardware, you've got a T valve that will attach to the back of the tank, Teflon tape, a gasket, and some non-slip um, items to keep this from sliding. All right, doesn't look like it's gonna be terribly complicated. Let's go ahead and put this on the commode. Regarding installing the bidet, it says, at least according to the little picture there, where it says easy installation, just need a screwdriver and a wrench. All right, so we're in the bathroom, and here is where we're going to be attaching the bidet, right down there. So it's kind of a tight space. So the first step is to remove the toilet seat. To do that, we're gonna loosen those bolts and then lift the whole thing out. So the first thing we want to do is take these caps off. So I'll just get the screwdriver in there. There's that one. There's that one. And we're going to just unscrew it. There's a um, plastic nut holding it below, below this. So I'll hold it while I unscrew. There's a nut that's been holding it on from underneath. And I should be able to push up. And there it is. I'll just set this aside because I'm going to need those later. There we go. And That one out. Got that right. out. I've removed the bolt, and now all that's left is to take the seat off. And the instructions now say the next step is to go ahead and drain the back of the commode. We'll do that next. To drain the tank, the first thing I want to do is shut off the water supply. So this is the water coming into the commode, and you know the old adage, uh, righty. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm gonna turn it right and cut it off. I actually turned it most of the way already. What's uh, involved with getting the tank empty? You take the lid off, you flush it to drain out as much as you can. Then you gotta get in there with a sponge or a washcloth or something, to soak up the excess, and just wring it out. So sop up as much as you can. We've got the tank empty. Now what we've got to do is go down to below there on the underside of the commode and attach the T-valve. This is the piece we're going to loosen. That's uh, to the underside of the tank here. And we're going to remove this hose so that I can insert this T-valve in here. And then this will be the hose that goes to the bidet itself. The bottom of this hose will go into there. So as I started to do this, I have a wrench here and it's just a little too small. So I went to my toolbox and went to go get a larger wrench, but you know, my channel locks were on top, so I just grabbed those. These are ch channel locks. Work just as good as a wrench in many places. So I'm gonna loosen this up. There we go. 
I think it should, yeah, unscrews my finger now. All right. So I got my towel in the way there. Soak up anything that should dribble out. Good. Yeah, a little bit of water dribbling out. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is install this uh, T-valve. And before I install it, I wanna put in this washer. Let me get this in line there, there we go. And I wanna put it in so it goes that way, pointing up. All right. Let's go ahead and screw this in. Where is that opening? All right, get two hands in here. As I finish tightening this, Hopefully that's uh, firmly seated. That'll be where my hose comes out to go to the bidet. Okay, the next step is I wanna take this, which is my uh, intake to the bath, uh, to the commode, water valve, and go ahead and attach it to the T valve. So I just get it in place. So we want to attach this stainless steel flexible hose that they provided and it's going to go to this but because we're basically going metal on metal I'm going to put some of the provided uh, plumber's tape to give a better seal right here. There we go. The next step is to take the, the bidet unit itself. This is the back that will go where the bolts, where the commode went. And I've got to put these little non-skid uh, plastic inserts and they go right back here and again it just goes inserts that I can do it backwards goes in like that okay. the next step is to actually seat the, the, the bidet itself here's those um, nozzles for, for cleaning the posterior and the more feminine parts of the anatomy and this sits on top right there and you kind of have to get it lined up it only goes one way in there and the trick is now i'm going to put these covers over and i got to make sure i have access to that hole because that's where my screw goes to attach the commode and the bidet in place so now the next step is to put the toilet seat and lay it back over those holes There we go. Got my bolts here. Slides it on through. All the way through. And then we just put the nuts on the back. And screw everything into place. So I've lined up the seat. I've put the screws in. Just make sure it's lined up so when you sit on it, it's comfortable. And tighten down your screws. All right, and then she just snap back into place. When I took it out of its box, this part of it unattached itself. And all it does, it's got a little half moon there and it slides on to that post. So we'll go ahead and do that now. In there. It just snaps on. And then this will adjust the flow and which part's being cleaned. So the next step is to take the water supply that goes to the bidet, and that's this long steel cable here, and attach it to the nozzle of the bidet. 
Now I'm gonna need some um, tape on this, some of that silicone tape. All right, we're gonna attach this hose. So now we're gonna check for leaks. We're gonna turn the water on a little bit at a time. A couple of spots you wanna watch for. Okay, you can hear the water going into the tank. We're gonna look under here, here, there, there, and where, right here. And let's open up some more water. Looks good. We've got it installed. I have not yet tried it. One of the things I wanted to point out was it gives you this option of putting these um, feet to help level your bowl. And um, they would go, they, they stick on, that peels off, and then it would stick on like that. If you feel like it needs evening, evening out. Now, my commode seat has, let me show you right here has some feet on it there. So there's one. And that's a pretty slim profile on this bidet. So as I lower this down, I don't know if it's gonna need any. I think I'll let Wendy tell me if she needs it to be leveled out. There's the unit installed and the controls work. If you move the dial towards the woman, you're getting some feminine hygiene cleaning. And if you move it towards that symbol, which I think is a bum, uh, you'll get the posterior cleaned. And then the increasing size of these circles are increasing flow force of the water. The instructions say, do not operate unless you are sitting there. They'll come out here, I believe. We've got to check this out. I'll get some towels down and we'll see what happens. So I have no idea what to expect. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens if we turn the, uh, the control towards the posterior cleaning. Oh, oh, jeez. Wow, I did not expect that. Um, I'm gonna turn around and show you the force <laughs> that comes out with that. It, it went all the way against a mirror. And uh, this thing goes for distance. Folks, we're talking a good six feet, seven feet, and, and it got altitude too. It, it got up here. Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> I would wear a groin guard though when using the, the full force of the water. <laughs> I don't think I want to use the full force. <laughs> so we've installed the uh, portable bidet. Portable in a sense that it can come off the commode. And uh, let's try this. So I don't need the feminine hygiene part. So I'm gonna turn the uh, crank towards the standard. So I put it. <laughs> it's working. What level do you have it on? Wait, actually, I have it actually at the highest level. Oh, what a pleasant little trickle that is right there. So that's the lowest. It's a happy little trickle right there. So now I'm gonna go up to the second. That's the one that I went to first. Uh, getting the job done. Let's go to the third. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna look the whole way. Oh, now it's in uh, personal, up close and personal right now. Yes. Is it hitting the right spot? Yes, no, it's going where it's supposed to. This thing, it's, it's amazing because you think we all have different size bodies and, and you know, but it's hitting a geographical location. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a good bum cleaning. So this is Eric from Wild Away With Us saying, I do recommend this home bidet by uh, 